Hi, I am Michael, and I'm gonna read you a story today. And it's a story that I wrote. And my good friend Debbie drew all the pictures for this story, and it's a story called I'm Worried. And it's a good story for people who have ever been worried, or if you've ever known anybody who's been worried, or if, if you have something that you're worrying about, this is a good story for you. But it's not a good story for you if you don't like jokes, because this story has some jokes in it. And maybe you're one of those kids who doesn't like to laugh. If you are, this isn't the story for you. But if you do like to laugh, this might be okay. I'm worried. I'm worried. And it starts with a little girl playing basketball with her friend, the flamingo. And their other friend, the potato, is sitting in the grass and the potato says, I'm worried. And the little girl says, what are you worried about? And the potato says, the future. Why are you worried about the future? Because what if something bad happens? And that's a good point. Sometimes bad stuff happens. And that is something to be worried about. And the little girl says, like what? And the potato says, like anything. And you can see the, in the potato's imagination all these scary things that might happen. An asteroid coming down, or a dinosaur, or a squirrel, or, or, or a bad quiz. A lot of scary things out there. And the potato says, please tell me nothing bad will ever happen. And the little girl says, I wish I could, Potato, but I can't. Why not, says the potato. Because nobody knows what's going to happen, the little girl says. And the flamingo says, um, now I'm worried. And the little girl says, it's okay, you two. Sometimes bad things happen. Like Potato, remember that time you rolled off the table? And the potato says, I was bruised for weeks. And Flamingo, remember when you got your beak stuck in the peanut butter jar? And look, the Flamingo's beak is stuck right in the peanut butter jar. And the Flamingo says, peanut butter is the worst. And that time I fell off the monkey bars and broke my arm? All of those things were bad at first, but over time, they turned out okay. And the potato and the flamingo are like, what are you talking about? The potato says, I got a sticker at the doctor's office and it was scratch and sniff. And the flamingo says, I put bologna on my sandwich and it was delicious. And the little girl says, you both doodled all over my cast and it looked awesome. And the flamingo has an idea and she says, I'm going to wrap myself in bubble wrap just in case. And the potato says, that way, nothing bad can happen again. And the little girl says, guys, and now look, they're all wrapped up in bubble wrap. And the little girl says, guys, guys. And the potato says, it's getting very warm in here. And the flamingo says, I can't move. And then they bust out of the bubble wrap. And the flamingo says, we were trapped in bubble wrap. And the potato says, another bad thing happened. And the little girl says, see, worrying doesn't help. Since we don't know what's gonna happen in the future, maybe we should just enjoy the now. And the flamingo says, enjoy the now? And the potato doesn't look like he knows what she's talking about either. And the potato's just sitting there and says, am I doing it right? That's me doing the potato face. How about now? Oh, she says, yep, you're doing it right. And the potato says, how about now? And the little girl says, you got it. And now the potato's smiling. Hey, Flamingo. Yeah? And the potato says, boo! And look, the potato has some peanut butter. And the Flamingo squawks! 
because you just can't predict the future. And the potato says, enjoying the now is way better than worrying about the future. And they have a good laugh about it. And the flamingo says, but peanut butter is still the worst. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed. I Hi, I'm Debbie ridpath -Owie. I illustrated I'm Worried as well as the first two books in the I'm series, I'm Bored and I'm Sad. I loved drawing the flamingo and I'm Worried. Flamingos have always fascinated me because they're so beautiful yet so awkward at the same time. In the previous book, I'm Sad, it was the flamingo who was sad and she didn't know why exactly and it really helped her to talk to her friends, the little girl and the potato. You know, in this picture, I think I'm going to put Potato in looking really worried. And he's worried because he's on the back of a flamingo. What if he rolls off? One of the things I love about flamingos is that bright pink color. But I discovered that that's not their natural color. That in fact, the birds when they're born are a dull gray. And the color pink comes from the beta carotene in the crustaceans and plankton that flamingos eat. I learned so much while illustrating children's books. One of the things I learned is not to be afraid of asking for help when you need it. I got great help from my friends at Simon & Schuster. And also not to be so worried about being perfect the first time. For example here, I think I put on too much paint. So let's see, ooh, that kind of looks neat. So that's something else I learned that Making mistakes is actually part of the learning process. If you don't make mistakes, it means you're not learning new things and you're not pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone. My two biggest pieces of advice for those young readers who want to create their own books someday is to have fun with writing and art because the more fun you have, the more you'll want to do it. And don't be so worried about making mistakes. And my second piece of advice is to read. Read voraciously. Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. If you enjoyed I'm Worried, I encourage you to also check out I'm Bored and I'm Sad by Michael Ian Black and me. And keep reading.